In this video, we will try to understand what exactly is termed as assembly, a exe and a dll. Now if we go to microsoft.com and if you try to read uh, the definition of assembly, it says that it is a fundamental unit of deployment. Now English is my second language. Uh, I know if, if you are a person who is from US or from UK or from an English speaking country, you can understand this. But believe me, when I first read this, it was very difficult for me to understand what exactly it means, right? So let me put in simple word. Uh, assembly is nothing but it is a pre-compiled chunk of .NET code. It is a pre-compiled chunk of .NET code which can be run by the CLR. So in other words, for example, now you can see over here that I have a very simple uh, uh, project, you know, called as my console, right? And if you see this my console, if I go to the folder of my console, I see a lot of things, you know, I see the source code program.cs, I see the config file, I see assembly info.cs and a lot of things. But when I go and hit this build button, when I say build over here, right? What it does is it actually goes and puts this whole thing into a single exe, a single unit. So you can see this my console over here is a single unit. Now what I can do is I can go and copy this and I can run this program anywhere. So basically I can go and just put this in my user like this. I can paste it and I can just run this. So you can see now I know that there is nothing happening in the application, but the point is that this is a single unit of deployment. I can copy this without copying the other files and put it on my production environment. So uh, assembly is nothing but it is a single unit of deployment or if you put in simple words, it is a, it is a chunk of code. It is a pre-compiled chunk of code which can be executed by the CLR. Now assemblies can be of various types. For example, we just saw assembly, which is a exe a executable and the other kind of assemblies, you know, what we can have is a DLL. For example, if I go and I add a project of a type class library, it becomes a DLL. For example, you can see that I will just add a, a class library over here. Um, I will turn this as, as my DLL. So now in this project, <clears throat> in this solution, I have two assemblies. One is a type of exe. So this my console is a type of exe and this is a type of DLL. So if I build this project very quickly, if I rebuild this and if I go to my project over here, you can see now uh, in this my console, in this, this, in this my console, I have this assembly my console exe and in the my dll i have i have my dll dot dll so this is the dll dll stands for dynamic link library and exe is nothing but the executable so now the next question which comes is that so what is the difference between a dll and a exe a exe actually runs in his own address space in his own memory space. For example, um, if I go and write here console dot write line, right? Let us say hello, right? Uh, also, also, let me just say console dot read so that we can wait. So if I now build this, okay, and if I go to my uh, project over here and if I see this my console, if I go to the bin directory, and if I click on my console, now this program out here, this exe out here is running in his own address space. If I again click, you can see now I have two exes. This exe is running in his own memory address and this exe is running in his own memory address, right? So both of them are having separate memory addresses. But if you see a DLL, right? So if you see this DLL out here, which I have this uh, my DLL, this my DLL cannot invoke by himself. He needs a hoster. He needs a consumer who will invoke it. So a DLL 
will actually run inside some other memory space. So there will be a console application must be and that console application will consume this DLL and he will run in the address space of that exe. So for example, if I want to use this DLL, so I will add a, a reference. So let me add a reference out here, right? And uh, what I will do is inside this DLL, I will just say hello. In case you are new to uh, uh, these keywords like namespace and class, what I would suggest is please go and watch the object oriented programming videos, you know what we have on questponvd.com. Uh, so I will not explain them now. At this moment, our concentration is to understand um, assembly, exe and DLL, right? So let us say I have a simple method out here and over here I will just say return. This is from DLL, right? So now I'm going to go and run this DLL inside this my console. So this, this thing out here cannot run by itself. The DLL cannot run uh, in its own address space. It will actually run inside some hoster. So over here, I will now go and add a reference of this my DLL. It is already done. So now I can go here and say, okay, I want to use the DLL, right? And in his address space, that means in the exe's address space, now we will go and create the object of class one, right? And we will say console.writeline obj dot method right so if you now see in this case when i run this exe this dll will be running in the address space of that exe you can see now this that the, the dll you know what we have is now hosted inside the address space of the exe so a exe actually runs in his own address space but a dll runs in has does not have his own address space and it needs a hoster or a consumer to invoke him so why do we have these concepts separately i mean to say like why do we have a exe which can run in his own address space and then why we have a dll a dynamic link library which actually runs inside the address space of some other hoster. The whole point of, of a DLL or, or, or of a library, I will say rather, is nothing but, you know, for reusability. For example, now think about it. Uh, you know, this my DLL, you know, if I want to go and reuse it into some other project, it is very easy, right? I can just add a reference and then invoke it. So basically, whatever code you want to reuse, what people do is, you know, they go and put into a DLL and then they consume into EXEs. Okay. So the whole point of DLL is of reusability. So you create the DLL once and then you can host it inside a console application. You can host it inside a Windows application. You can host it in inside the ASP.NET application. So all the other applications out there, you know, are, you know, they can run by themselves, you know, but a DLL, uh, you know, will will run inside the address space of those uh, hosters. So the whole point of DLL is uh, reusability, and the whole point of EXEs is to just run in its own address space and start uh, executing the code. So I hope that you enjoyed this session. In this session, we were trying to understand what exactly is the assembly, what is the EXE, and what is a DLL. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.